Hello and welcome back to Tech It. Just got myself a new quarry set up. Looks like someone's already been here with some kind of digger, maybe a destruction catalyst from uh, equipment exchange, perhaps. Oh well, never mind. Still get some stuff out of that. God, I'm making a mess of this landscape. Look at this. Also, this has appeared since last time I played. Giant chicken. Also, there's this big thing here. I have no idea what that is. Uh, this um, this seems to <laughs> what you see here, but it makes the chicken angry. <laughs> see, no chicken. Angry chicken. <laughs> Yeah, not really sure what that's about. So last time, what did we do? We uh, we we built that nuclear reactor, and since then I've I've been fiddling around. I've built a few more reactor chambers, and I've kind of set it up nice here. So we've got this kind of water-cooled room. Having water running around the reactor makes it run a little bit colder, which is always good. Uh, I've just got five reactor chambers on it at the moment, just so I can show you how to do it. Uh, as you can see, I've got a lot more room in the chamber now. Uh, now, I'll add the sixth and final one. The sixth is the max you can have around it. All you do is just get the reactor chamber and you place it next to the reactor, which is why you can only have six, because it's only got six faces. Now, you'll see there's even more room. There's like one have a row on each side and we can fit a lot more stuff in it. Now what I'm going to show you is um, a kind of it's, it's called a Mark 1 setup and what it does is it's um, basically a safe reactor, one that won't overheat and won't explode. Uh, it won't produce as much power as some of the higher ones but it will you don't have to worry about it, you don't have to come home and your whole house has been waffled so, and to be honest, it, it, it makes enough power for a, a lot of things. So what I'm going to do uh, first is take a bunch of this stuff out. I've built some more cooling cells. I've built some these integrated heat dispersers. Let's just take a bunch of them. Let's take all this crap and some, yeah. And we'll uh, stick it in the reactor. Now, it's not easy to remember these setups. So what I've I looked up this uh, layout because it's it requires quite a lot of mathematics and figuring out. There is a program which lets you um, kind of simulate the reactor setup, and it will tell you if if it will overheat or or whatever. And that's what I've kind of used to uh, do this. Uh, so basically, I'm just going to set it up. Um, actually, it's because from uranium as well. I think we need eight. Eight cells, eight uranium cells in this in this reactor. Uh, where are they? Here they are. So we've only got four, which is fine. <laughs> Let's just move all this rubbish, and we'll just grab a few more uranium. There it is. I'll make four more. Now we'll probably have to come back for some more cooling and such. In fact, yeah. Okay, so it's kind of hard to explain, so I'll just kind of show you, really. Now, well, I think that's it. All you need to do now is add the uranium. Now, hopefully, this will. Basically, what we want is the uranium to run out, um, but the cooling cells to be pretty much fully intact. Which means that when we replace the uranium, we won't have to wait for the whole lot to cool down. So, I haven't really tested the setup yet, I just found it online. But, it looks pretty good, and we'll come back in a few minutes to uh, check on it. Just to uh, fix the sound. Okay, now we've got that. I haven't really thought about uh, connecting it to anything. 
It's just floating in space. Next, you need these really heavily insulated cables because uh, normal cables, even glass fiber ones, just can't handle the sheer amount of voltage coming out of that thing. So we're going to need some refined iron and a lot of rubber. Now what you do is you make a cable out of refined iron. Let's just make a bunch of them. Like that. And then you insulate it with rubber. I'm going to need a lot more rubber. Then you insulate it again. Two times insulated. Uh, crap. I need a lot more rubber. What do I do with that sticky resin? Mm -mm. Ah, there it is. Now, we'll just uh, transmute a bit of that. It's quite enough. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Save. It's always worth to save a few just so you can transmute it in the future. But, uh, let's put that in extractor to get some rubber. Let's overcook that bad boy as well. Get three per sticky resin if you extract it, rather than uh, putting it in the furnace. Okay, there's uh, 57 or so, that should do for now. Now we'll, yet again, there's two times insulated cable, we'll insulate that to make four times insulated cable. I think it should say three times, but uh, <laughs> Did the rest of it. 31. I have to do for now. Now this is a heavy duty cable. I mean, this is some serious cable. Now what we do is we bring it out of the uh, reactor. Let's just. Uh, I think we've got a hole at the top. We can make another hole at least. I cut a hole here. Oh God. <laughs> Falling into the reactor. Come on. Okay. Let's just uh, let's just stick a bit of wood here. Sort it out. Water is very annoying. Okay. We've got a cable. <laughs> now let's just get rid of this wood. Back out of there. Okay. Now we can bring this cable. Let's say. Up here. Yeah, look how thick that is. That is some heavily insulated cable. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, now we can bring it. Let's say, let's kind of get it to where the uh, other cable comes out, which is I'm not sure where. Here. So if we had it coming, mm. I don't know, actually, here maybe would be good. Let's cut a hole. What's he dealing with? Now, will it connect to that glass fiber? I think it might. Yeah, it does. So we want to stop that from happening. Uh, I'll show you a neat little trick about how to do that. Okay, so what you do is you want to grab some iron, normal iron, two of them, and three white cloth and we want some dye as well but we'll do that in a sec so what you do is you put two iron here and you put three wool like that and you get a painter uh, actually we're going to need a second one of them so we'll do it again two iron three white cloth doo -doo. Doo -doo. So we've got two painters. Now we want to make different colours. So we'll get some lapis for blue. What else have we got hanging around? We've got some... No flowers. Oh, well, I'll just have to use some cactus. I'll make some green. Cook that bad boy. Oof. Right, now you combine the two. So you combine a cactus and the painter. To make a green painter and the cat 
and the lapis and the painter make a blue painter. So we've got two different coloured painters. Now what you do is you put the wire down where you want it, and then you paint one blue and one green, and they lo no longer connect to each other. See? As long as they're different colours, they won't connect to each other. Very useful for like running parallel cables. Because if, uh, if we had run this cable up here, and it connected to this, then all our machines would have suddenly <laughs> be running incredibly high voltage and the cable probably would have burnt out as well but now it is perfectly safe oh wow that was not a good idea <laughs> lasers do catch fire to stuff apparently oh my god <laughs> uh, there's water down here let me in! okay it's alright I'm out I'm out Okay, so that's a word of warning. <laughs> Don't shoot cloth with laser. <laughs> right, so this is coming up. Uh, where's my. There it is. This is coming up here. And we want it to come down. Down, down, down. Don't know where it was. Just guessing around here, maybe? No, no. Oh, bugger. I have to repaint that now. Okay. Just make a little platform to stand on. So we'll put that back and we have to repaint it green. And then we can go down. Cool. Right, we've got a cable, and we need to connect them up. Um, so let's say along the ceiling. There we go. Beautiful. Just cut this one into pieces. Ugly. Now let's just fill in that gap, because it's ugly. We'll fix it with proper stone at some point, but for now a couple will do. Uh, now, so we've got our uh, reactor. It seems to be going okay. Nothing's overheating. It's running perfectly fine, actually. Now we've got the power coming out of the reactor through this massively insulated cable to here. Now, we put it into MF... What's this? MFE? If we put it into here, uh, that will blow up. So we don't want to do that. Well, I think it will blow up. Yeah, I think it will. Not sure. We need to uh, transform it down. Uh, yeah. Now, this uh, this MFE has served us well, but, you know, 600,000 is not really enough to hold a nuclear power. So we're going to have to build an upgraded version. Now, it's called an MFS. MFS. It's called an MFS. And to build it, you need uh, something called a Lapatron crystal. Now, if you remember, we used the energy crystal, which is a diamond surrounded by redstone. And to make a Lapatron crystal, which is a better version of the energy crystal, you need an energy crystal, a couple of circuits, and some lapis, I believe. Where is my lapis? There he is. Six of them, I think. And what you do is you um, you put the energy crystal in the middle, the circuits over the side, and the lapis like that. And that gives you a lapatron. So now I've got six lapatron crystals because I made a few earlier. Six is what you need for the MFS. You also need an advanced machine. Which if you remember was a, a machine with some advanced alloy. I think I've got some stuff here. And some carbon plates. Uh, see if I can remember the recipe. Yep, there we go. Advanced machine block. Um, it needs the MFE and it needs an advanced circuit. Which we have. So what we do is we take off 
the MFE lose all the power like that and we build the MFS with the advanced circuit in the top the MFE in the middle advanced machine um, and the la hell, <laughs> the Lafatron crystals which I have in my bank either side I always forget some ingredient I think that's just uh, how tech it is and there's our MFSU now this you can hold a lot, let's just break <coughs> that for now just in case now we want the output the bottom put the glass fiber back so there we go. you can hold 10 million 10 million power as opposed to 600,000 uh, and we've um, yeah we've blown up <laughs> our transformer <laughs> obviously uh, I didn't think about that but at least it didn't blow up all the machines just a transformer. Um, yeah, I forgot about that. So yeah, <laughs> the, um, the basic transformer made of wood and copper isn't good, really. Um, the next one up from it, though, is still fairly easy to make. I mean, actually really easy to make. You just need a machine block and a couple of copper cables. That's it. Stick that in the middle, one other side. Medium voltage transformer. Uh, I need to get somehow get underneath it. Lovely. Uh, oh, actually, that's not good. Ooh, dear. Um. Did that blow anything up? <laughs> Forgot about that. Okay, you need also. <laughs> okay, this is a. Uh, this is getting a bit complicated. <laughs> we need to step it down twice to get to the level that these need. So we'll. Oh crap! We'll just have to move our MFS a bit. Let's get rid of that. Now we need the original low voltage transformer. It's copper. This is getting very complicated. This is what happens with Tech It. You end up just sitting in a single room for hours playing around with currents and all sorts of crap like that. And it's awesome, frankly. It's awesome. I love it. So, we've got the medium voltage transformer, low voltage transformer, and. I mean, while we're at it, we might as well um, build the high voltage one because we're going to need that as well. I'll just start cooking some iron. Grab a couple. So we'll just build another machine block. A couple more copper cables. We're going to need uh, four copper cables. And a circuit. And an energy crystal. Which needs another diamond, some redstone. Bum 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 bum. Oops. Okay, so we build the medium voltage transformer, and then use that to build the high voltage one, like this. So we've got one of each now. So we start off with Christ. Okay, we've got. <laughs> Let's make some room. We want the low voltage at the bottom. And then we would like the medium voltage after that. And. Then we want the MFS. Is that 
right. I think the... Let's go that way, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, that's why the machines didn't explode, because nothing was going through. Luckily, I messed it up. Because <laughs> they would have just blown everything. All these machines would have just blown up. If um, they had been given that much current. Now, this should work. <laughs> so we've got the MFSU drawing power from up here putting it into the medium voltage transformer because this outputs at 512 which is pretty high. This takes 512 and outputs 128. This takes 128 and outputs 32 and these machines all take 32. Now the nuclear power is like a thousand and something. So this can't take a thousand, I don't think. I think we need to transform it down before it reaches the MFS, right? So we're going to get the high voltage transformer, stick that, I don't know, here, have the yellow underneath this time, like that. Now this should be outputting 512. I think yeah, I think glass cables can cope with that. So we'll have the glass cables now going into the MFS. Now this should be getting a lot more power now. So if we cut this wire here, we should be getting just what's coming from nuclear power. So it's that's quite a lot, you know, five, six that it's like a thousand every every half a second or so. So that's loads. Tons of power. And if we add on the uh, the wind wind and solar power back in, we're getting loads. Look at that. Three, four, five, six, seven. That's so much power. Wow. Uh, so, I hope you understood all that. We've got nuclear power coming through a heavily insulated cable into a high voltage transform, which transforms it into kind of high voltage power, which these cables can catch can handle. That goes into the MFS, charges it up, then we take the power out of the MFS. Uh, that's wrong actually, it needs to be like that. There we go. What's that noise? One of the machines is <laughs> having a fun time. What's happened here? The heat's uh, the heat's gone. Oh well, it's heating up again now. So yeah, uh, I, I slightly set up wrong, but now it's all fine. Um, let's see if that's working yet. All good. It's all good. So yeah, inputs two, outputs that one into the transformer, into that transformer, into the machines. Cool. So that's pretty much how you set up a uh, all that crap. <laughs> you need all this to use nuclear power, uh, otherwise it's just too high voltage. Let's just fill in this gap. Check out our reactor. Oh, it's good, isn't it? It's looking good. As you can see, the, these uh, uranium cells are depleting slowly, but the cooling cells are not, so it's a perfectly safe reactor. It's a thing of beauty. So now, we're done for today, but next time I think we'll start uh, using our massive amount of power to start mass fabrication, which means we can start building uh, UU matter, which is used for the highest level of armors and weapons. Exciting stuff. So I'll see you next time. Goodbye.